Bonjour everyone, I am at Boucherie in the West Village of New York City. Boucherie is a Parisian style bistro with multiple locations in Lower Manhattan. And I'm starting off with one of the two non-alcoholic drinks. So this is a PJ Breeze, lavender, citrus, mint, all the things I like in a non-alcoholic drink. So they bring bread to your table first. It's a little bit warm, very soft, and they serve it with this slightly salty butter. I'm starting with the tartare, which comes in small and large. So the large is eight ounces, that's what I have. And that's a little quail egg. I'm just gonna go down a little bit right here. It's a tiny little quail egg right there. So I'm eating this with these little smashed potato chips. It's good with the salad as well. This is one of my favorite appetizers, especially when I'm at a French restaurant. All right, for my entree, I am trying aubergine farci, which I've never tried an eggplant dish in a French restaurant before, but first for everything. So here, uh, this is fresh basil, tomato sauce, there's also harissa in there, which is probably going to give it some spice. Um, based on my experience with Italian food, it kind of looks like a eggplant roll and teeny, but I'm going to give it a try. All right. When I first saw harissa in the description, I thought, oh, this is going to be spicy, but it turns out it's not. Uh, the harissa is very subtle. The tomato and the cheese are definitely the two dominant flavors in this one. The other non-alcoholic drink is Le Phil. This has the stronger flavor of the two. So it's pomegranate, blackberry, vanilla, and ginger. There are little pomegranate scenes on the bottom and you can chew on them. And also the ginger is a pretty strong taste in this. So it's kind of like a competition between the ginger and the pomegranate. So when I mentioned to someone that I was going to be coming to Boucherie, the first two things that I heard were the tartare you got to try and you got to try the desserts. So this is the dessert menu and I couldn't find a single thing on here that I did not want to order, but I'm only going to try two desserts. Starting off with something I've never seen before, which is black sesame creme brulee. They do have a regular one, traditional, but I'm trying the black sesame. And then this is the chocolate tart. So it's chocolate. There are little pieces of what appears to be gold on top, sea salt, and there's caramel as well. All right, so it's got that hard top. I'm opening it up and just take a look. It's like black throughout, black sesame. I'm assuming this is not going to be as sweet as creme brulee typically is. Definitely a new take on creme brulee. It definitely has the black sesame taste. It is a little bit sweeter than I expected. Very smooth and creamy mixed with the caramelized top. All right, so the outside of this is like a cookie and then it's like very soft on the inside, mix of caramel and chocolate. And there's a little piece of chocolate on top that says B, as in brine. But I'm pretty sure it stands for boucherie in this case. All right, between the two desserts, I do prefer the black sesame creme brulee, but what makes it close is the balance of sweet and salty that's in the tart. They have a generous amount of sea salt on top, and for that reason, I really like the way the two go together. But if I come back here, I'm gonna get a different appetizer, probably the lobster bisque. I'll probably get the same entree though. I absolutely love the eggplant. And then for the desserts, I may do another black uh, sesame creme brulee, maybe share it with someone if I'm not dining alone. And then maybe do uh, something else because every dessert on the menu looked delicious from the... Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I got more trips coming up soon. Heading to Savannah, Georgia at the end of the month. Next month, I got Reno, Nevada, Madison and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Also going to be going to Eureka Springs, Arkansas for the first time. 
And then in May, I got South Carolina and also Phoenix, Arizona. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you soon. Au revoir.